Before the video starts here, I just want to let you guys know about the application event that is open to all YouTubers right now. So go ahead and click the link down in the description below if you're interested in joining Afterlife. Alright. You know, for a long time, I, I was against this practice, but you know, for the greater good of the team, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Are you gonna accept their culture, Mario? <laughs> I think I am. Watch him put a, on a team team turtle head. All right, are Get you out ready? Of here, why are you in here? Get out! Watch him put it on. Are you guys ready? Dude, yeah, turtle, if you put team on team a team, team turtle, turtle head, I will slay you out, Mario. I'm just saying, turtle, with Jay's upload turtle, schedule. Team turtle, Three, team turtle, team two, turtle. one. Team turtle. Wait, that's the wrong one. That's the wrong one. <laughs> There we go. It's stuck. Oh, okay, it's stuck. Like it. I can't take it off. It was good. Hey guys, Mario here, and welcome back to some more content here on the Afterlife server. Yeah, guys, it's been a little bit, but we are back here better than ever. Got a lot of stuff pre recorded as well. But as you can see, we are now officially, officially a part of Team Panda. And with that, there has been some things going on on the server, some devious doings of our other team members. Uh, so as you can see, unfortunately, I wasn't able to, uh, you know, participate in the prank with them. But all of the team member, uh, team turtle associates or anyone affiliated with them has been quarantined. Uh, KB, Ash, White, uh, Blonde Skunk, Runic, all of them. Um... I think that's it yeah all those people they have been corn turtled <laughs> corn turtled right and here they have a little book here your papega has come to our uh team turtle attention that there has been a rise of papega levels our papega detection device noticed a disruption when team turtle arose from the ashes of dead turtles that were cremated to bless your heads with their heads so yeah that is definitely disgusting so inhumane Team Turtle has been authorized with love to quarantine all possible suspicious threats that are associated with Team Turtle to all of you gross people. Yes. Uh, anyone found violating the quarantine sanction will receive immediate force from Team Panda. So thank you for staying healthy and safe during this time of need. Very, very awesome. Alright. Anyways, you and Jay went ahead and did this, my other team members. So uh, make sure to go check out their episodes if you want to see how that was done. Uh, but other than that, I'm gonna get rolling with the episode here. Oh, and also, this is the Pepega reader. We are in the red here, which is basically means that immediate action needed to be taken. Oh, this is this is the actual book. Okay, anyways, Pepega meter right here. In the last episode, guys, we worked on this awesome game, and I decided to call it Knockout. Never really mentioned it in the video, but that's what it's going to be called it's in the title it's a simple name i didn't want to go anything too complicated didn't want it to be like a minecrafty sounding name so knockout can really be applied to anything it's just it makes a lot of sense because of course the objective is just to knock the other person out but yeah i apologize if the episode was a little too long last time i know kind of wanted to make up for it due to uh, not uploading after life in so long but we're back in in business and today we're going to be continuing our building spree. We have some more things to do today. I'm going to be trying to get a lot of a lot of work done in this episode. So I'm going to head right over to our project area rather than wasting any time at spawn. So yeah, I'll see you guys there. Yeah. You miss again. <laughs> it's it's not that difficult, man. Come on, you can do it. Yeah. Hold on, guys. We're here. We're here with Hugh Bone. He, Hello. He has a metric ton of sand here, which we are gonna need for today. So yes. As one of your fellow Team Panda members, what do you propose on the pricing? Yeah, just take it. Oh. Okay. Yeah, just like just take it. Just take it. You and sure? give me like a stack of diamonds. Oh man, that of or like half a stack. I'm not good with prices. Okay, you see, this is all I have. 
<laughs> Wait, really? Yeah. <laughs> That's all okay, I have. Take, the, take half back then. I don't want to take all your diamonds now. What will nine get me, though? Uh, just as much as you need. Damn, okay. I don't know. You said you wanted like two double chests or full, right? Or four? Yeah. Yeah, that's that's cool. Just Thanks, take them, bro. I feel like there's a lot of pity going on here. Just no, no, poor. there is no pity at all. I'm just supporting a fellow Team Panda member. That's excellent. All right, thank you very much. This all right, is bye. A very fair price. I'll catch you later. Oh. Sorry, it's not cooked. It's okay. I mean, it's better than nothing. There's a dude behind you. E. Oh, you see that one shot? One the smack. Shot. Damn. All right, let me get my uh, ender chest out. I don't have it over here, do I? That's my thing. There you go, sir. Thank you, sir. Make you a little bit richer there. Oh, thanks. That was a lot. You're welcome. Appreciate You're welcome. it. This is um this is our area. I know this is very close to that flattened out desert. So we're gonna try and build a little more ways out away from the away from what people have been mining. I assume it's white just because he has the glass shop. Um yeah, hopefully this doesn't look too like torn up. And our castle is pretty much just gonna be on like one of these big plateau areas wherever there's a large flat area for us to build on. And it does seem like there's enough savanna to sort of cover, cover a large stretch of where we'd want to build. Let's keep going this way. Yeah, towards the mountains here. I think altitude definitely provides a uh, good building material. And yeah, we have village here. Uh, we have some villages here too. There's multiple actually. Oops, a little bit of lag. I believe... The more we come this way, I think there should be an ocean, which uh, I do want to incorporate as well. We can have a nice coastal area. This seems like this seems like a good spot. Yeah, look at all these. There's like a river valley that runs through here. It actually leads to the ocean. This is this is great. Yeah, look at this. This overlooks like a lot of stuff here. This big plateau here. Um, we can also take a look at that one. Sorry if I'm nerding out, but um, I think savanna biomes are totally underrated. I know in terms of content wise, they're not so, uh, you know, useful, but I th really do like the generation of these. It has a lot of character. This one is quite nice too. This one almost has more space to work with. You know, we could always have multiple castles, but let's not get our head of ourselves. We pretty much want the castle to take up the entire scope of the plateau here. So we want one that's quite big. Yeah, we got cliffs here. Look at that. <laughs> we want one that's quite big but also um not too big there looks some islands there i'm very much leaning towards this one this one that we're on here okay guys so i have come to a decision we are going to be using this plateau here rather than the other one so it's pretty much this versus that one there see this one i'll explain my reasoning this one has a decent view of like the savanna in the mountains here and the ocean uh, but really, like these mountains, especially this, looks a little bit funny. It kind of just looks like a, a witch's finger or something. Um, and then coming back around, it's kind of, it's a little bit skinny. And it, it doesn't have too much space to work with. This one, rather, we have this whole river. We have a view of the river here, as well as the desert, as well as the ocean. Um, and then you can't see much of the mountains, which is fine. You have these little islands scattered around it as well, which we could... Uh, make something cool out of so i'm definitely leaning towards this and i think this is probably going to be one of my biggest minecraft projects to date hopefully that's what we're going for here this entire um project so it's not just going to be a castle and a uh you know it's not just going to be a castle on a hill guys we i kind of want to build up an entire town oh this is not the right box uh, i want to build up an entire town or city like structure around it as well which i think will be very very interesting to uh, mess around with it's just like there's so much you can do i haven't played much with 
this style but just from what i've been doing creative and my single player not single player but in my own creative world i have some pretty nice ideas of like the color scheme i know not a lot of people do it but we're gonna be going for red sand possibly terracotta and we're also gonna need a lot of wood so that is that is a lot of stuff that i'm gonna need to acquire of course we have the wonderful shopping system on the server um but I, I am a little low on funds here i'm gonna try and see what i can rake up uh, i might even have more sales in my shop which i can check out because um it seems like people have been using a good bit of snow lately which i'm happy about always more sales for me um, but all in all i'm pretty satisfied hugh actually gave us a very decent price there i think that's very fair um I think there's some benefits to us being on the same team but now we are gonna be buying from the enemy it's whatever uh but we're gonna be buying from white fire for some red sand as well as some terracotta uh for the town at least i want to use a lot of colored terracotta colored concrete uh for the actual palace itself we're gonna be going for some more neutral colors and whatnot uh so hopefully that works out okay Oh no, baby Yoda has been removed. I was gonna show off something else. Ooh, that looks like skunk. Actually, that could be either of the three <laughs> Team Turtle people, but yeah, baby Yoda's gone. I was gonna say he, he left a poop stain everywhere, but like he's gone. Welp, took him a while, but it was, it was he was beautiful while he lasted. Dang, why would he do him like that? Anyways, we're gonna head over to King Z's shop here. He's always been nice to us. He's very neutral. So, it's fun. Skunk tore him down. No way. Okay. Well, we're headed over to the woodchuck here. Let's grab some... We're definitely gonna need some spruce. And... Probably gonna grab four just in case because I do have some already. Two diamonds worth. I need to keep 27 for my deal with white. So that's two. And I think I'm gonna buy um probably six stacks worth of oak as well. It's gonna be pretty important. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then we can throw out or we can just stack these together. So in total, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 stacks of logs for 5 diamonds, which is a very, very awesome price. Oh man, King Z's making bank from this shop, guys. Uh, we are going to have to make another shop soon, I suppose. Hey, alright, so we're here with Whitefire. How you doing, man? Alright, how you doing, Mario? I'm doing pretty good. So, I heard you have some goodies for me. Mm hmm I do have, I have eight shulker boxes worth of stuff for you. The question is, do you have my payment? I do. Like, I barely scrapped it together because I'm, I'm probably the poorest member on the server now. Uh, here you are. That's, that's, that's what happens when you join the wrong team. Uh, okay, you know, I have, I have Jay for financial support. He's providing oh. me. Okay. Well, I mean, he'll only put, he'll only provide for so long. So good luck with that. So we had negotiated three diamond blocks for, uh, basically two two double chests of red sand and two double chests of regular terracotta. So that should all be in here. Oh well. Uh, uh oh. <laughs> Jay, Jay just messaged me. Oh. He does not approve of our transaction. Oh, I mean, I'm sure Skunk won't uh, won't approve of this either. But yeah, actually, no, Skunk might. Skunk might. Jay's a little uh, Jay's a little interesting when it comes to that. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure he'll be fine with. It. All right. So, are you doing like terracotta there? Okay. Grab all the terracotta, and there you go, Mario. Looks hey. like you have. Stuff. All, all this stuff. I got my diamond blocks. We got, I got three diamond blocks. That's what I asked for, and there we go. Business deal done. Okay, then. Well, I guess I will leave you to it. Hopefully, you will enjoy those materials, and I'll, I'll catch you around. I guess probably yeah. at war. <laughs> oh man! All right. Thanks for uh, striking a deal with me. Alrighty. Later, man. Later. Okay, guys. So with our materials all fully acquired here, we're gonna hop straight into a replay mod time lapse here of just planning out our entire palace. 
hopefully laying down all of our towers and entrances and whatnot um some of the structural elements of it and unlike the traditional european medieval castles uh, we're going for more of like a spanish style with middle eastern influence like i said and it tends to be a little more palace like rather than uh purely meant for defense i guess there's there's a lot more of, there's a little bit of randomness to it there's not like four towers that all are symmetrical so uh you'll see what i mean in a second Oakley guys so this is our first tower here it's pretty much gonna be our main tower for the castle and i know you may be saying mario what is this why is there like weird ugly orange streaks going through it and i kind of use like a reference image uh if you guys know la alhambra in spain it's one of the uh sort of muslim uh, palaces that the muslims built when they had control over spain this kind of i, I kind of based it off one of the the big towers there pretty much the main tower and uh, i think the shape is really good um i like how uh, we have this big base here and it goes up i think i played around with the height a lot i also messed around with the buttons um so i think that looks a lot better now but uh, again i think the orange could make it look a little too messy so let me know what you think about that um as for the rest of the walls and whatnot i'm thinking of using the red sandstone more as a foundation and then going up transitioning to sandstone rather than just having it random like this tower so i'm gonna go ahead and do that for the walls and if i feel like this doesn't really fit in i might go ahead and change that uh, but also let me know in the comments what you think about this um let's just fly out here take a quick look um i did post this in my discord and whatnot so of course if you always want sneak peeks of uh builds and videos and whatnot always make sure to join discord but yeah i think it looks it looks decent um for this new style so i have a lot of inspiration here from uh both real life sources right pictures google images uh, and also jermsey boy he's doing uh, or he did something similar like this in his single player world so I have that downloaded just taking a look here and there but yeah i'm going to be 
sort of pushing this wall a little more outward because it's not going to be a one thick wall it's kind of more like a they're more like little houses almost stacked up in in wall form it's not like a house but you can there's really room inside to walk um so it's going to be three wide i think um and that gives us ra ample room to work on like a roof as well because there's going to be a brick roof that goes along with this um and it's pretty much gonna curve like this right uh oh i should be plotting this out with red sandstone because that's going to be the foundation but anyways uh let's continue all right everyone so i've been hard at work here on our base let's take a look here we have it so we have a big portion of the wall done here connected to our tower now and as you can probably see it looks a lot or the tower fits in a lot more now that it's connected up to some more structures so as you can see um if we're standing inside let's say our inner courtyard here we have this style of window uh sort of with the fence gates um i don't imagine that you would really be living inside the walls i guess some guards could be in there uh from time to time and whatnot but it's mainly for aesthetics uh most of the times the guards would actually be up here inside this part of the wall we have a lot of these little peepholes i don't know how strategically smart this would be uh but i think these really fit well with the style but taking a look here unfortunately we didn't get any replay footage of this i was kind of a doofus and just forgot about it i forgot to press record which really sucks uh so as you can see down here we have a bit of the granite as well uh oh wh which one's my fireworks here we go we have a bit of the granite as a foundation which i think works really well something i pulled from jermsey boys world um and then uh this wall especially i think it looks really nice we have this flat portion uh with the window design here the chiseled plus the uh the cut there very nice and we have all those little peepholes up top which i think works really well I'm not sure how much time we have left we're gonna work on this last tower here together i think as you can see this is how much inventory room all the stuff takes up this is not even like all the unique blocks we're using this is most of them but there's definitely a few more he looks so majestic the wild trader in his natural habitat how did how in the world does this guy just get up there i have no ladder no anything what there's what, it, what the, I, I don't i don't understand it guys i i do not understand it how like how can i can i name him so he doesn't despawn like this is actually really sick <laughs> how, like i don't get it at all okay guys so i think the plan is we're gonna make this sort of intermediate tower here um and then afterwards we're gonna have a bit of a thinner wall um and also guys if you have any suggestions for uh what to do with the interior windows and stuff i'm still a little bit iffy on it as you can see it's not permanent um yeah it's a little bit inconsistent too because a creeper came by and blew it up so this is gonna go a little ways above uh this roof it's not gonna be nearly as tall as that tower though and i think we'll end it there but yeah anyways i'm really happy with this style guys it's been it's been a couple days of building in this style and i think i'm definitely enjoying it i haven't gotten bored of it yet and i think there's a lot more to explore um and then the rest we're pretty much just gonna fill it in with our uh smooth and regular mix okay so we have our tower filled in here and i think it's a decent height because if we start the roof here so what it's gonna be it's gonna be like a square roof it's gonna be oops sort of just wrap around like this just oh my goodness <laughs> gonna wrap around like this and kind of just peek off at the top all right i have a feeling we will want to do the corners though like this and cap it off like so Slide down. I usually go like here and I do a little optifine zoomy zoom because this is a pretty good view of what it's gonna look like from afar and yeah that's kind of the look I'm going for it might even be a tad tall all right so with these corners I also add some buttons and I spread some of that red sandstone down below I will also go ahead and fortify the bottom with stairs and slabs and whatnot that does not look bad um <laughs> it kind of looks like two eyes and like a little mustached dude 
Oh, I think we got something, guys. Look at this. Very subtle. Kind of looks like a big gaping mouth, but I think it works. Uh, we'll keep it open most of the time, I think. And it's a good way to get in with the elytra, I think. So, um, oh man, we're not going to make that. Okay, guys, that is going to have to do it for this episode of Afterlife. I'm sorry. I kind of let the episode get a little long there. I kind of just got carried away with building. Uh, but in our next episode, we're probably going to be continuing this. If not, we have some special group activities planned, uh, either for Team Panda or just the server as a whole. Uh, but look out for more cool stuff here at the base. I'm just going to be recording a bunch, uh, getting things pre-scheduled so you guys can get a continuous stream of content. But yeah, that's going to be it for me, guys. I really hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think of the style. Um, I did post it in my Discord already, like I said. So if you always want sneak peeks and whatnot... Make sure to go join the Discord down below. But yeah, guys, leave a like if you did enjoy. Comment below what you thought, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace out. Goodbye.